of Fab Friday. So we got a new tool in the Fab Shop here. This is a ring roller, and this is used to take those straight pieces of 316th material. I think this will also work for quarter, but I got it specifically for 316th, so you can do these arced bends. So I'm going to use this a whole bunch on the Baja Bug build. The first thing that I'm going to use that arced uh, piece for is actually the low bars. So the lowest point on this bug, everything's curved on this, so this isn't straight. So I had to make my, my side pieces, basically my base here. So these are going to fit, actually fit right in that little groove there. So I'm going to cut these pieces to length, get them set up on my, my new pan um, that I've been working on. This is the new pan that uses the Outlaw front suspension. Um, I cut a different shock tower so the body sits on there nice and low. Um, yeah, so this is a little work in progress. That should be pretty cool. I want to get some more inset wheels for the back. It just sits out a little bit wide. A little wider than I'd like. The front looks good. I'm happy with that. But the back is just a little too wide in my opinion. So, yes, yeah, new tool today. Ring roller. Uh, we're going to get this piece sliced up. And then we're going to tack some tabs to it and then get it all mounted up into the paint. So, we have our piece cut to fit. As you can see, it's the same radius as the body. And I set it on the pan and I made a couple of marks for where I want the tabs. So, with the marks made, I have used uh, the tab number four threadable option and I have bolted them to the fab table. And I've also used the flat mount fixture to squish everything together so everything stays still. So with everything set up here, now I can go and I can make, make some tacks. And this is the left side. Make sure you mark your pieces when you're at this stage. Um, I made a couple of marks on there to indicate the left to me, and then I left the other side blank. So what I'm going to do now is tack these pieces up, and then I'm going to do the same with the other side. When setting up the second one, you can use the first one for reference. That way everything's nice and symmetrical. So I went precisely four holes wide um, and I set up the one that we already did up against it that way just for symmetry, you know, so things look good. Um, we made it the same distance, same amount of overhangs in between the marks that we made in reference to the body. So now we're going to get this one tacked up and uh, then we'll get it bolted to the pan. So with your pieces in, we're going to make a couple of reference marks with uh, your marking device. So I'm going to mark kind of the corner here and the corner here so I can set it back up and then better mark it with the body off. But this is just for alignment purposes right now. And obviously before you do this, make sure the body is perfectly centered on there. So that's our pieces and now we can better align that up and I'm going to put a clamp on here and then I'm going to make a mark for those holes. So with body off, lining up on our marks, take your sharpie, throw it in the threaded hole. You can actually twist it and it kind of threads in, makes your mark and untwist it out. So with everything uh, marked, now we're going to hit it with a center punch to get our marks and then we're going to drill those holes. All right, so we have our lowest bars mounted. All right, so everything's all set up there. So the next piece is going to be the wheel arch for the back. That's just the way I'm going to go. I'm going to go back. Um, that way I can figure out where I want my shocks mounted. I think I want them kind of at a forward angle just because it's sort of the look of the build. So on the ring roller, I went to the tightest radius I could get. And I bent up this, which looks pretty close. to the shape of the arc. So now what I'm going to do is set it up so I'm going to use that ring roller. It's just the ends. You do have a little bit of tag, unusable section. So I'm going to line that up as uh, one of my cut pieces. So take your sharpie and mark it where you want your bends to end and begin. So I should have enough to do both, I hope. So I'm going to get these cut out and then uh, we'll get it set up on the frame.
set the body on there, things get aligned, and then uh, we'll tack these up too. I've got the body set where I want it in relation to like centering it. Uh, have our new arch for the rear section set in place with one of our tower fixture tables, our <laughs> tower fixtures. So everything's set where I want it, everything's lined up. Um, now I'm just gonna tack that into place. So basically I'm lining up this edge with the edge of that rail. So, see how this works. And we're still just tacking stuff up, that way we can make adjustments. We got that on, and now we're going to do the other side. Alright, so that's the first part of the Baja Bug build. We have our lowest bars, um, and then we did our rear arches. Everything's all radiused, so it kind of fits the shape of the body. Uh, I had to trim this piece a little bit lower, or shorter, because of the transmission. So I cut it, and then I lined it up on this side and marked it so I can cut it so they're symmetrical. So when we do the bumper, everything's going to come out at the same point. So. This is how I used the fixture table to hold the tab, or I used this fixture table to hold the tabs while we welded that, and then I used the fixture tower with the nest tab to hold these in place while I welded it. So the way I set this up was I had this on the table, and then I set the chassis on top of it, and then I set it all with the body on and lined it up until it was where I wanted it, removed the body, and then I welded it on. Yeah. That's the nice thing about this tower here is you can just stand up and you can slide it wherever. Part of the reason the width of these is what it is, is with standard crawlers, like 110 scale, you can set the car on here and the wheels will clear and then you can build up from there set it straight on the chassis. This is a really short body, or this is a very short build. It's only 10 and a half inches axle to axle. So with the tires on, it wouldn't work. I had to take the rear tires off since we were working on the rear section. So. That's uh, today watching this installment of Fab Friday, the Baja Bug build. So, right now, until the end of the month, we're going to have free shipping on all of our fixtures and fixture tables. And our shirts are always free shipping. So, head over to the website, scalemetalsupplies.com, and check those out.